Live from across the tri-states, this is KHQA This Morning. It's your news now. Kristen Nagiri joins us live this morning. She is in Macomb again today. That's right. Kristen, what are you up to this morning? Well, good morning. We are live here on the WIU campus, and we are wrapping up Sustainability Week. Now, at home, I want to ask you a question. Do you know how much waste you and your family use all week long? Coming up after the break, we'll show you how you can reduce that and help out your environment. You're watching KHQA This Morning. As always, we can make the environment better. Good morning, Kristen. Good morning, guys. Now I have a question for you guys. Do you guys recycle at home? Chad, Melissa? Complaints. Yes, we both recycle, just in case our microphones were off. You mm -hmm. both recycle. Good. That is the first step to reducing your waste. We're now with Mandy Green from WIU. She is in charge of safety and stability, uh, stability, sustainability here on the campus. Now, how do you get a campus of this size on the sustainability train? There's a lot going on on our campus. We have a couple of key areas that are very sustainable. Um, our transportation department is fantastic. They do a great job. Um, we have a car share program on campus where you can rent a car for an hour at a time so you don't have to bring a car to our campus. Um, we also have an extensive bus system. You can um, take a bus about anywhere in our community. We have a lot of stops throughout the community. We have a lot of stops on our campus. And um, we also have what's called a bike share. And you can actually rent a bike on our campus for free. So it's pretty fantastic. We also have a lot of hybrid vehicles in our fleet. So it's, it's a pretty um, sustainable part of our campus. So transportation is just a small part of how you're Definitely. making this campus sustainable. Um, coming up, actually, just really quick, the building that we're in is actually very eco-friendly. We'll dive into that coming up a little bit later in the show. And we'll also show you how you can kind of mock what WIU is doing here in your home so you can reduce your waste. Very nice. I've learned stuff from Kristen all week. Mm -hmm. Now it's just a matter of implementing it into my life. Out and about this morning, all week, you've been just a busy little girl, Kristen, all over, showing us how we can be better people. What are you doing today? That's that's right. All week we've been showing you how to be sustainable and live a little bit more of an eco-friendly life. Well, today we're showing you how you can reduce your waste with you and your family. And reducing waste is a huge deal here on the WU campus. It is. And actually, we use recycling as the gateway drug to sustainability. We really try to use recycling as way, the way to teach people that you can be sustainable every day, every single day. It doesn't take big, grand things. All you have to do is find a recycling bin. And there's one around every corner on our campus. On our campus, they're actually blue. And we recycle lots of different things. Um, all tin cans, so all of your, um, your vegetable cans, your soup cans, your aluminum cans, um, actually all colors of glass. This is clear, but all of our brown, our green glass, and actually these lids, too. So we can't get this off, but this is a <laughs> metal lid. And we can actually recycle those. And if people are a little bit, they don't know if it is recyclable, mm -hmm. they just need to go ahead and look on the back of the uh, of their um, kind of their product, right? Yeah, that's because right. You will always have, right? Do you, do you the the little triangle? That's right. The logo for recycling is on most plastics, and on our campus and in our community, because it's the same thing. We actually have recycle plastics numbers one and two. So you'll see a little recycling triangle with a little number in the middle, and sometimes you'll see like a five on the bottom of your yogurt containers and those actually aren't recyclable in oh. our community or on our campus. Well, we're going to show you actually what is not recyclable, what you can't uh, throw into your bin, coming up a little bit later in the show. Nice. I like this because, like she said, you see the five. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't want recycling to be a lot of hard work. You don't want to think about it. With Kristen Aguirre, who is live there. What's going on over there, Kristen? Well, we are here on the WIU campus, and we are showing you how to reduce your waste at home. Reducing waste and recycling is a huge deal here on the campus, um, but we showed everyone a little bit how you can go ahead and look for those recyclable uh, seals on there, so what you can put in there. But what are some other things that people may think they can't? In recycle? addition to plastics and glass and aluminum and tin, all fiber products are recyclable. So your magazines, your newspapers, um, all of your cardboard, corrugated cardboard, so your packing boxes, your food boxes, your Kleenex boxes, that kind of stuff. But your boxes that are not recyclable are your milk cartons and your soda boxes. Oh, oops. Yeah. I've been recycling my milk cartons. Why aren't those recyclable? Those aren't recyclable because they have a wax coating on them to make them more durable. Oh. And that wax coating hinders the recycling process. So you can't put those in our bin. So we really have to look for that symbol. Right. So what are some other things that we cannot recycle? Well, one of the most important things is liquid. Do not put any liquid in the recycle bin. Always dump that out, please, because it damages all of our fiber products. 
We have a commingled system on our campus and actually in our community. That's, it's, the same, it's the same program, so you don't have to worry about what you do at home and what you do on our campus. But these, um, this liquid will really hinder all of that recycling. And then the caps, right? And then these caps also. The plastic caps, they're hard plastic, and this is a pliable plastic. This, this contains PVC. And so it's detrimental to the recycling process. All right, well, coming up a little bit later in the show, we're going to continue to show you how you and your family can reduce your waste at home and help out Mother Nature. Oh, I'm so guilty of putting the caps in my recycle bin. What she has for us, let's go around. Hey, Kristen. Good morning. Now, we are all addicted to our phones. We use them so much that the batteries are constantly dying. But what do we do with those batteries when they're done and do we throw them out in the trash? We cannot. Actually, batteries cannot be put in the recycle bin, and they cannot be put in your waste stream. It's actually um, against the law. Um, so you always have to look for your, the specialty spots. On our campus, actually, we just implemented a battery recycling program, and this is our battery bin. Um, one of these is in every building on our campus, and um, so you just have to look for that bin and, and find where it's at. Um, in Macomb, the city of Macomb, we have what's called Tri-County Recycling. And Tri-County Recycling is um, on Pearl Street here in Macomb, and they accept batteries, all, all kinds of batteries, rechargeable batteries, cell phone batteries, laptop batteries, rechargeable batteries, everything. But they also accept things like Nike shoes, like your tennis shoes with rubber soles. Right. They recycle the rub rubber, and then they also do your electronics, anything with a cord, anything at all. And then they also accept things like paint, um, and they have little specialty drives too. So. so if you're looking to recycle those kind of things at home, make sure you check out your city and find out where you can go and throw those uh, recyclables, because make sure not to do go ahead and toss them into your trash or your recycle bin. We'll have more tips on how you can reduce your waste coming up a little bit later in the show. All right, some great advice. Teach us now. Hey, Kristen, she's live in Macomb today. Good morning. Well, we are here on the WU campus, and we are wrapping up Sustainability Week. And I have a question for you at the studio and at home. When you go to the grocery store, are you using those plastic bags? If you are, you are hurting the environment, right? Very much so. Plastic is definitely um, very harmful for the environment. And plastic bags, uh, they get everywhere. You see them all over the ditches, and they're all over the place. So. One way you can reduce your waste, one important way, is you can take these bags to the grocery store with you, to the, when you're shopping at the mall and whatnot. They come in all different sizes. They're fantastic, and they're very cheap. You can get them. I think I paid 99 cents for this one. And we're, we're just talking about how you can get them to match your outfit. They have, they're for <laughs> yeah. everyone. I have one that's cheetah. So. I have a Vera Bradley one. So, so there you can get <laughs> one for everyone. And then when you are done stocking up with your groceries here, mm -hmm. when you take your groceries home and you're done using them, do not throw them out because no. they could be used for something. That's right, composting. Composting is another great way to, to reduce your waste at home because compost actually, uh, about half of our waste um, that we actually put in the landfill is actually compostable. Half is huge. That's a lot. Mm -hmm. So the things that you can actually compost are, are pretty vast. You can compost things like um, vegetables, coffee grounds, eggs are great for your compost, grass clippings, veggies, um, um, hay and straw, and um, some brown items are like cardboard. Things that you want to try to avoid are things like a lot of fats and a lot of meats. And you want to try to be careful, careful with the dairy. Um, it, it slows down the composting process. And we can use composting for our gardens. Oh, like definitely. It helps um, your vegetables grow large, and um, it's a nice soil amendment. All right, well, we can t continue to show you how you can reduce your waste, and we'll have more details coming up a little bit later in the show. Speaking of composting and gardening. Is in Macomb this morning talking about sustainable living, and we've talked a lot about recycling. So what else is going on over there? Well, all morning we have been showing you easy ways to reduce your waste, but actually here on the Western Illinois campus, they are doing big changes to make their campus green. With me now is Mandy Green, who actually, isn't that, what a coincidence, your last name is Green, yes. um, is make, you guys are doing some big things here on the campus to make sure it's eco-friendly. We sure are. Actually, we uh, just implemented a policy on campus that all future buildings that we build, um, new constructions and major renovations, will be, actually be LEED Silver certified, and actually what that means is leadership and energy and environmental design. So it's, it's a point process and we gain points by building um, in environmentally friendly buildings. And this building is actually very environmental. It friendly. sure is. It's actually LEED Silver certified. We received that certification. Um, things like um, we have a vegetative roof, which is very cool. So that helps to keep the roof cool, which helps in uh, all the energy uh, efficiency in the building. Or we have a lot of windows facing the north side of the building, so we don't have to rely on lights in the building. Um, a lot of natural lighting. All of our plumbing fixtures are low flow. And speaking of lighting, you guys also have, we can't show you, we have this cool thing where when you walk into a room, they're, they're kind of censored. If you do the 
the class, class and yeah. it goes on. That's so cool. Yeah. Um, so what are other other things that WAU is doing? Sure. Um, we've got a lot of different things on campus that we try really hard to stay as sustainable as we can. We really work hard towards our waste reduction, which we spoke about all day today. We recycle all of our pallets on campus. We recycle all of our electronics, things like that. All right, great. Well, for more tips on how you can be sustainable, make sure you check out our YouTube page. We'll have everything posted from all this week to make you and your family easy into going green. All right. Thank you so much for your uh, information this week, Kristen.